YouTube and welcome to another evening of Adventures with Clange, Cooking with Ange. So tonight is Miso Tofu with Spring Greens. I'm just going to get you up and get you in a good position so you can see everything. I'll try to. Perks of a bendy Ujimiflit. <laughs> That's how we need it, isn't it? Oh, let me just alter that again for you a little bit. Get that a little bit more at an angle. There you go, that's better. You don't need to be seeing the onions there, do you? <laughs> and I'll just start Facebook. Hello, Facebook. And welcome to tonight's I'm on my own tonight. My auntie Sharon's not coming to join me tonight. Um, and the dal last night, the chicken dal, was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. It was really tasty, really yummy. And I absolutely enjoyed it last night. And last night, I wanted to give it a 10 out of 10. Claude wanted to give it an 8, which is why I ended up with a 9. But this morning, I'm definitely feeling that we've had a curry dal last night, which is, yeah, we've we've used quite a bit of toilet roll today, people. I know you're going to enjoy that one, Mum. <laughs> Hiya, Sharon. So how did you like your dal last night, Sharon? You've not told anyone. Um, but yeah, it, we really liked it last night. We really, really enjoyed it. Who else is on here tonight? Because I am on to, by myself tonight. And tonight we're doing miso tofu with greens and ginger, spring greens and ginger. And this is a Joe Wicks one. And we've really liked the Joe Wicks ones so far. They've been really, really tasty. And this one's quite a quick one tonight. So hopefully you're all going to love it. It's all good. You gave it a six out of ten. See, I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but Claude wants to give it an 8 out of 10. But we really like dolls, so it's all good. It's all good. But then you had coconut milk and not coconut cream. So maybe that changed it slightly. But it was, we liked it. So, boil half a kettle. Drain the tofu and pack it dry with kitchen paper. is on kick <laughs> hardly any spice to it our needs a, yeah well ours ours was quite spicy actually so maybe you didn't put enough in or maybe you didn't work out your your recipe properly shab because i know you're you've been cooking for three and not two but ours ours was quite spicy which i quite liked hi you kate hey you lisa How's everybody's February going so far? Mine's getting better. Um, we've literally, hey you Kelly, my, my business in general is getting better. So, and we've made a little bit of extra money this month so far. So we're actually tomorrow, we've got a place down the road from us that does food for families that struggle and and um they they give out it's a bit like a food bank but not quite a food bank but they make lunches for families that are struggling and so tomorrow we're actually going to go and buy a load of sort of dried well i am um dried food for them lentils and chickpeas and and all sorts of bits and bobs, oxo cues and stuff like that. And we're going to go and donate it to them tomorrow. Because I think they're doing a really, really good job at the moment. And they sell this food for like a pound for a full meal. 
and you can take it as a takeaway so they can take someone for the evening and it's and when they've got enough donated in they actually give the food away for free so it's quite nice that they're actually they're actually doing that and i i think that's a really good thing to start donating to because there's so many people that are struggling at the moment and we've got a little bit of extra cash so we're going to go and buy some of that and take it to them and hopefully help them out for a few days yeah i've asked what they needed and what they wanted and they've told me hiya bridey um cut the tofu into cubes so i'm going to cut it as you can see the tofu is actually quite thick so i'm going to cut that in three and then cut it in cubes the other way Now, if you've never had tofu before, as long as it's properly seasoned, we really, really like it. We really enjoy tofu. And we do actually eat tofu at least, what would you say, three times a month, Claude? Yeah, I'd say something like that. Up I'd to like three, three times more, a month? More, I'd do it more. But... And tofu's really, really good. Is it good when you're going through the menopause, Claude? It's apparently really good when you're going through the menopause. So it's all good. We like tofu. Um, so I've done that with the tofu and I'm going to move that now because it's not telling me what to do with that yet. Oops. There goes one piece of tofu on the floor. <laughs> Claude's going to enjoy treading on that later and thinking it's a bit of a poo from one of the cats. Oh, right, so now it's telling you to rip the leaves off spring greens and discard, discard the stalks. So what have we all got for dinner tonight? Hello, Dad. I would call you my favourite dad, but there's still the debate about me being the milkman, so. Just to clear that up, everybody, he is my dad. He was actually a milkman. <laughs> it's just a bit of a family joke. And if you ever want to listen to Dad's stories about him being a milkman, he's got tons of them. And they're very interesting until you've heard them more than 20 times. He has got some good Old Navy stories, though. He used to wash Prince Charles's underpants. dad was a steward in the navy and one of his people that he had to look after was prince charles you was a sailor's daughter <laughs> i was a sailor's daughter dad i'm just glad i got all my good looks from mum Hiya Lynn, we missed you last night. So shredding of the spring beans, spring greens, sorry. I think a lot of this is about the preparation to start with and that's why it's so quick because I think everything cooks quite quickly. What have we all got for dinner tonight? Charlie visited your mum. Ooh, pinch of numb greedy garlic chicken, lovely. You'll have to take a photo and pull it up for us, Bridie. You can pull it on this post if you like, darling, and show everyone. Tell them about the charity shop soon. 
I will do in a bit, darling. Uh, Charlie visited your mum. I don't know who Charlie is, Dad. Who are you talking about, Charlie? Talk about cocaine. Could have been doing cocaine again. Claude once again talking from the background. <laughs> Cheesecake. Nice healthy dinner there, Dad. Can I tell them what you're booked in for on Saturday, Claude? Yeah, go on. So Claude's booked in to go and get a vaccination on Saturday. I thought I'd have it soon enough. But we chose to wait a little bit. Yeah. She, she could have had it sooner, but she chose to see if the oldies took it well first. DIY clean up, missed, but watch video afterwards. It's all good, it's all good, Lynn. We forgive you. We totally forgive you, darling. This must be the most boring bit, me shredding green beans. Tell about Charity Shop Sue then. Oh, Claude wants me to tell you about Charity Shop Sue then. Did Prince Charles visit my mum? I don't think he did, Dad. What, yeah. When? I think my dad's trying to be funny again. Oh, is he? Yeah. That's what he calls it. That's what he calls his trying to be funny, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Peter said no. So, we've got a bit of a famous celebrity in Nottingham. <laughs> and she runs a charity shop in Bullwall. And she's called Charity Shop Sue. She's a bit of an icon. Legend. Claude would love to meet Charity Shop Sue. I think she's hilarious. Claude would love to be dressed by Charity Shop Sue. Oh, <laughs> so Charity Shop Sue, if you're watching us out there, Claude would love to meet you and be dressed by you. No, I wouldn't. Tell them to look on YouTube for Charity Shop Sue to watch but, the episode. Claude's telling you all to go onto YouTube and watch Charity Shop Sue. So it's telling me with these green beans to roll them and shred them slightly thinly into thin strips. They could have done this for me, couldn't they? Sharon, as you're not cooking with me tonight, what are you having? Hey Hazel! It's good to see you darling. Hope you're okay sweetie. Uh, burgers, nice. Oh that's from the other week isn't it? You know what? That's why I had that. <laughs> I wasn't going to run out of bloody chopping boards. So, pak choy. I love pak choy. It's one of my favourite vegetables. It usually comes with sort of Chinese meals and stuff, which is probably why it's with this one. So we've got lots and lots of greens with this one. Then wash and cut the pak choy in half. Separate the white bases and green tops. So, good old. Rinse out the pak choy. in half 
separating the white and green bases from the top. So what you got for dinner tonight, Hazel? So that's those separated. Uh, cut the white bases into bite sized pieces, no problem. I'm going to cut them down again, in half again, into quarters, and then I'm just going to shred them out. Just like that. Losing space again, innit? Alright, I'm just going to read ahead a little bit here, people. Ah, okay. So, it's now telling me to cover those bases and the end of my beans, which I'm going to put into this pot here. The amount of kitchen utensils I need to make in this kitchen is unbelievable, isn't it? She's talking behind me again. Toad and all. Oh, she had toad and all, did she? Was that after the conversation last night, Mum, you decided to make toad and all? How are you, Nicola? So, cover that with the end of May beans. Has everybody had end of May beans? Because they're really tasty. Got a real nice, like, they taste better than broad beans. Let's put it that way. Right. I'm actually going to heat this large brave pan now for my tofu. On a high heat with some vegetable oil. Too much vegetable oil. <laughs> what house? The tofu will soak that vegetable oil up when you fry it, so it's all good, really. You couldn't really make this one with fry light, to be honest. Sure. So there's that covered with boiling water. Just put that at the back. Let that warm up. Right, so those back toy tops go in with this lot in a minute. And now it's saying. Oh, I could have used that, that oil in this part. <laughs> So it's telling me to put the miso paste and 
mirroring into the bowl. Let me see if I can find my my so paste. I think so. My so me so whatever you want to call it, Claude. Some miso paste. That's what I'm looking for. So I love the way they just measure all this out for me. It makes it so much easier. And I love this little tub. Look at that. That's going to be handy for something. I think Claude gets a bit fed up with me sometimes, saving little tubs and jars and stuff. Yeah, because I've got enough. Yeah, because I've got enough. Never got enough. She'll love that if I put a little bit of hummus in there or guacamole and send her off to work with that. Or some little pitters or something. You know, I mean, if she's got enough. Da, da, da. And one tablespoon of vegetable oil. More careful that time and mix until smooth. This may take a while. <laughs> So this is the actual glaze for the tofu. And if you don't know how my so taste paste tastes, it's always good at this stage just to have a little taste, just to see if you like it. Because if you don't like it, it's going all over your tofu. And I will taste it for you. There you go, nice and smooth look. A little bit. Oh, it's definitely got a kick. Not really. It's quite nice actually. I don't think I've ever had my so paste like that before. So that's a first for me as well. So now it's saying. Peel, scrape off the skin, and finely chop the ginger into matchsticks. That makes sense, doesn't it? Finely chop the ginger into matchsticks. <laughs> interesting. Interesting, interesting. So you know in that pinch of num book, Sharon and Bridie, because you two's cooked from it so far, because we've got it, there's one in there that does the brownies, I think it is. Have you tried those yet? Uh, look at the charity shop too. <laughs> we literally watched the whole season last night, Sha. They're not that long, to be fair, but apparently she's trying to get a TV show and they've been in talks for ages. And I think because of this, it's just been halted. But she's got sort of um, all sorts of people trying to emanate her around the world and just say some of her sayings and stuff, which is quite funny as well. So I was just asking, pinch of nomsha. On it, there's the ooh, sausages with red onion and red wine gravy. <laughs> 
with mustard mash, Sweden parsnip mash and greens. Good work. Good work. Red wine gravy. So yeah, the pinch of nom, as I was saying, it's got a brownie mixture in there. Have you guys actually tried that one or, you know, have you tried making it? Because it looks really good. I'm sure it's a brownie one. It might be cookies. matchstick size so there you go they are nice fabulous chocolate brownies or sweet potato yeah i think that's how they're made in that pinch of num book claude Claude's mum makes a chocolate cake with no sugar, no butter. She makes it with oil. That's quite interesting. It's a nice cake. Matchstick ginger. Gonna... That one's a bit big. Peel and finely slice the garlic. Do not chop. Hmm. why they get you to prepare this stuff so quickly is because when you're cooking it it all happens so fast you know you're turning tofu and stuff like that I think with this one all the cooking comes really quickly so it's all in the preparation with this one by the looks of it and from cooking tofu for before which I'm just about to oh, it might help if I turn the oven on people interesting um <laughs> yeah it may have helped if i turned the oven on Whew. so dad's having cheesecake tonight mum you're not even gonna let him have a you know a piece of toast or something savory uh looks good though going to try the curry and bombay potato as a side dish this week from the book um sharon's tried the banana and chicken curry from that um did you say you didn't particularly like the banana and chicken one Sha? there is people that's raved about it but sharon said she didn't like it just sounds a bit interesting to me. No. <laughs> Is that the not letting him have a piece of toast? That poor man. You starve that poor man. Clearly. That's why he's a stick insect.
Where's the soy sauce coming through? Ah, oh, there. Okay. Right. It was disgusting. Yeah, Mum, he is a stick insect, isn't he? Didn't like the sound of that one. Trying the vindaloo. Good work. It's pretty good that I'm letting you not try it out first, though. Rather than me cook live and then us go. It's bloody horrible. So as you can see, this oil's heated up quite nicely now. It's proper runny, which is what, what oil goes like when it's heated up. I'm just going to let it heat a little bit more. I'm going to bring my tofu back over. And then I'm going to... See, no sizzle. That's what we want. Glad that oil wasn't that hot. waste your time with the chicken and banana curry it's gross yeah I wouldn't waste your time either if Auntie Sharon says it's gross it's gonna be gross can't keep this on the side can I I've always found with tofu, they say that it cooks quite quickly, but for it to go that golden brown that you want, you kind of need to leave it in a bit longer than what they say, normally, but I've not cooked with this type of tofu before, so it could be fun. I'm just turning these slightly as I'm going. Now, mom, I know my mum's got a keen eye, so if I miss one, mum, let me know. Right, so tomorrow night we have fish a la manere. A la manere. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. If anybody knows how to pronounce it, but it looks good. And it looks like there's a real buttery parsley sauce to it. And it's literally 239 calories, which is really good. Tonight's one is 379 calories well it's got uh, mashed potato with it Claude so I don't think you're going to be hungry it's also got spinach and fish you'll be fine right I'm going to turn these again See that they're going slightly brown there like a nice golden color
Have I missed any, Mum? John, they're driving red wine gravy tonight. As you can see, they're starting to slightly brown. Now, meanwhile, don't touch the pot. <laughs> Heat a separate wide paste pan, preferably non sticks, with two tablespoons of vegetable oil and heat over a medium heat. say just blanch them so they're now blanched just gonna turn this all around again put these ones out of the middle now put these ones from the outside in Quite therapeutic doing this. Some people would just get annoyed by now. So I promised Claude at the weekend I'm going to make pad thai again, which I made a few weeks ago. She's more than happy about. You can't hear the yays from the background here. <laughs> I'm here, dog, dog walk, sausages on. Good work. Good work. So, once that's heated, Add the sliced spring greens and pak choy bases and cook for two to three minutes or until started to wilt. Can you see this pan?
made it loads of sizzling noises now, people. Now this will wilt pretty quickly because it's all leaf, almost, apart from the bases. But then they've already been um, blanched, so they're already kind of cooking. So that's probably why they get you to blanch the beans and the, the bases. Right, now you add I'm going to turn the heat off on these as you can see some of that's gone really nice and toasty golden now which is always good that golden okay dad <laughs> you can have your private jokes mate I don't mind as long as you keep happy darling so now it's telling me to add the ginger and the garlic to that down for two to three minutes more just going to turn the heat down on that this is smelling really really nice people of course going to love these green beans these greens can you see the greens smells amazing so now telling me to add the soya sauce to that. Not much soya sauce there, but we have got the, the garlic and the ginger in there as well. And the soya sauce will just give it that bit of salt, which is probably why they're telling us not to add any salt to this. The soya sauce has got quite a lot of salt in. Mmm, that is good, that is really good. I've definitely enjoyed the green beans that they've given us for gusto. It feels more, it just feels really fresh and really tasty. So give that a good mix up. Once the tofu is golden, which it is, as you can see, nice and golden, nice and golden cover in the miso glaze So people, I read today there's a possibility we might be allowed out come April. So if we are, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're allowed out? What is the first, the very, very first thing you're going to do? Mine's going to be coming to Portsmouth when we're allowed. Literally going to Portsmouth and seeing my parents. 
what's your first thing that you're going to do? Mum and Dad ain't got a choice what they want to do because they're seeing me. <laughs> and my mum wouldn't have it any other way. Right, I'm just going to mix this up so that it covers everything with that miso sauce. Just going to turn the heat back on a minute. Is smelling amazing. Amazing. Do a quick little bit of a tidy up while that's doing its thing. Turn that back on, make sure it's warmed up. <laughs> They reckon it's going to be the beginning of April, Dad. I think they're saying, which is the holiday week, the Easter week. And we're going to be able to socialise with people of up to six in a household. Right. So now, sesame seeds. Over the miso tofu. As you can see, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Sure. Serve the miso tofu food and stir fried ginger greens to the side. Bosh is what it says. And once again, I have these nice big bowls, thank you very much. A quick stir around, make sure that's all covered with all that lovely juice and everything. So, spring greens. That'd be lovely, Lynn. I'm sure my mum and dad would be up for that. Even if you don't invite them, they'll be up for it. Turn that one off. Claude is going to love this. I know she is already. Even before I take it over. I'm dishing up, Claude. Ready. She's ready. So I'm just going to bob this over to Claude's. Oh, let me give you a little show. So this is my so tofu with spring greens. I'll just take it over to Claude and then I'll come back and get you. Well, 
Oh, you've got a knife. Which one should use as a knife? Right, let's get both of you. Here we go. Here we go. So. Try some greens. I should try some greens first. Wait there, Claude. Not quite ready for you. Just a few Sharon again. <laughs> Here goes the greens in the gob. Mm. Tasty, isn't they? Mm -hmm. That's part tofu. Mm. Yeah, you like? Yeah. Lovely. I love tofu as well. Oh. So, that is tonight's done it's been great to have you all with us again and thank you youtube we'll hopefully see you tomorrow night